In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the calculate table expression within a Power BI measure. I'm also going to show you how you can use calculate table within DAX query view so that you can see the results change as you update your calculation. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to do is show you my fact internet sales table, which is here. And what I want to do is return the customer key, which is the ID of the customer who spent the most amount of money yesterday. Now this table has an order date and a sales amount. So these are the columns that are going to be useful for us. So let's go to DAX query view and start off by coding this. So the first thing that we want to do is write evaluate. The second thing that we want to do is start off by returning a summarized view of this table. So summarize the fact internet sales table. What do we want to return? First, we want to return the order date. Then we want to return the customer key. And finally, we want to return the sales total. And our expression will be the sum of sales amount. And let's just start off with that. Let's close this off once more and evaluate this. There we go. So now we have a subset of the table of only the columns that we want. We have the order date and the customer ID who placed the orders on that date with their total sales. The next thing that we want to do is filter this down to only yesterday. We want to check. We want to return the customer key who spent the most amount of money yesterday. And this is where the calculate table feature will come in. So let us create a new line and calculate table. This works similarly to the normal calculate where you have your table expression and then you add in your filter function. So before we even do this, first you want to create a variable. That variable will be called if we can get to it, variable, let's call it yesterday. And this will return yesterday's date, which is simply, a say, uh, it's easier saying today minus one. We will then return the calculated table and we will add a filter to this where the order date equals yesterday. Let's return this and see what happens. And as you can see, the table has now filtered to yesterday's date. So this is how you can use a calculate table. Now, if that's all you want to know, then you can end the video here. But if you want to know how you can use this to return the customer key, that is the ID of the customer who spent the most yesterday, then keep watching because that is what we will do now. So I don't want to return this. I'm going to put this into another variable and call it sales table. The next thing that I want to do is return the maximum sales total from this table. So I'm going to create a new variable and call it max sales equals the max of the sales table for sales total. So we're returning the max sales total from the sales table, which is the sales table that we have in our current variable. Now, if we return this, just to see what's going on, so max sales, let's see what we get. Okay, so we haven't actually returned a table here. We've only returned the highest sales total, which is why we're getting an error. What we need to do is return a table. So instead, what we're going to do is create a new variable called max customer. And this will return the table where the sales total is equal to the max sales total. So we're simply going to filter 
the sales table to uh, the sales total from that table is equal to our max sales. And now if we return this, so return max customer, then we should have a bit more luck. And there we go. We have one line. We have our customer key of the customer who spent the most amount yesterday. But there's still one more thing left for us to do, which is to now simply return only the customer key so that you can use it in a measure if you want. And this is how we do that. So let's get rid of this and let's create one more variable, which will be our max customer key. And for this, we're going to use select columns. So select columns from our max customer table. We're going to call it customer ID. And we're going to return the customer key from the fact internet sales table. So that should return this value here. Let us return the max customer key and see what we get. And there we go. We have the ID of the customer who spent the most amount of money yesterday. Now what I can do here is copy this into a new measure. Let's delete this visual and create a new measure in here. Let's call it top customer ID equals paste it in. We can drag this in. We don't need this summarized. And there you go, 19,500, which is exactly the ID of the customer who spent the most amount of money yesterday. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a thumbs up if you have learned something new today and subscribe for more Power BI videos.